Hey everybody, Kirby Hosman here, Hosman Marketing. We all know it's been a weird and challenging year. That's been well documented. It's 2020, right? So I wanna to talk to you about three facts that I know are true about corporate giving or year-end gift giving in 2020. So let's get to it. Number one, I think it's more important than ever that we show appreciation. Now you may be thinking, look, Kirby, you say that every year. And the reality of it is there is an appreciation gap in corporate America today. And that essentially means that most leaders, like myself, believe we are showing appreciation on a regular basis. We are showing our team that, that we appreciate them. But most people who are surveyed say they don't feel appreciated by their organization. So there's a gap, there's an appreciation gap. And that's been true for many years. But this year, more than ever, we are asking employees to, many folks are doing more work with less people. Maybe they're doing it for less pay. Maybe they were furloughed for a little bit and they've been brought back. And at the very minimum, even if none of those are true, they're working in a time when it's more stressful and uncertain than it's been in many, many years. And frankly, on the other side, our customers, those who have still bought from us, man, we need to truly say thank you to them. So the fact number one is it's more important than ever that we are showing appreciation in some way to our team members and our customers. Fact number two, it's harder than it's ever been to show appreciation. Sorry, as I said, I'm gonna give you the straight truth here. People are working from home, so how do you uh, get them a gift? How do you show appreciation in non-traditional ways? In years past, maybe you did an event for your team members. Maybe you did a year-end holiday event. Or maybe you aren't allowed to do that. Maybe you aren't able to do that. So how do you show appreciation? We have to ship those gifts. We have to, there's additional costs to do that. Shipping has been a challenge, to be honest with you. And I see that becoming more and more the case. Uh, those, those shipping kind of deadlines are gonna be moved out further and further. And so the reality of it is, number one, we need to show appreciation, but number two, it's harder than ever. And one more thing that I would say is because of a couple of those factors, fact number three is you need to order earlier than ever. What's happened is stock has been a challenge in a lot of uh, manufacturing facilities and a lot of the, the branded merchandise suppliers. This is not a knock on them. They went through the same challenges that the rest of us did when business shut down about mid-March. Well, when that happened, many of them kind of stopped orders coming in because they just, A, had no place to put them, B, they needed to kind of manage cash flow, and C, they had no idea how much they were going to need. And so when that spigot turned back on, it turned on slow and it turned on in a conservative way. So what we're seeing in the world today is that stock is low on many of the things that, are, that people are wanting to buy. I tell you that not to scare you. I'm telling you that if you have something that you want to do for your employees, the time is now to order it because stock is a challenge, delivery is a challenge, and those are things that everyone is going to be facing. Now, one of the things that we're gonna do at Hossman Marketing is we're gonna try and work with you on this. We're gonna try and help you work through those stock challenges so that we can give you alternative items that might fit the need as well. We're coming up with drop ship programs so that you can drop ship directly to your employees' homes or your customers' homes. And we're gonna try and make this as budget friendly as possible. But the reality of it is we need to start having that conversation right now. So number one, it's more important than ever. Number two, it's harder than ever. And number three, we need to act sooner rather than later. So those are my three facts about corporate giving in 2020. Thanks for watching and please reach out to us so that we can help you.